Hi, this is Ushendra. Welcome to my channel Ushendra's Engineering Tutorials. In my channel, you will be finding uh, videos related to various courses from uh, second and third years of uh, electronics and communication engineering. My uh, lecture videos will be very helpful for uh, students who are prepare who will be preparing for a competitive exams also, uh, because I'll be apart from uh, doing some derivation, important derivation. Apart from these derivations, I'll be solving some important numericals uh, from various uh, previous question papers. So please do subscribe my channel, Ushendra's Engineering Tutorial. And uh, coming to this video, in this video, I'm going to explain something about uh, Laplace transform. Laplace transform. Laplace transforms, it's a part of uh, engineering mathematics. It's a very important topic in engineering mathematics and you can find the application of Laplace transform in various courses, uh, very important basic courses such as uh, you can find this uh, Lap uh, using Laplace transform, you have to solve many problems in uh, uh, pulse and digital circuits. pulse and digital circuits and uh, control systems and uh, analog electronics analog electronics these are the like uh, you can find numeric uh, numerous applications of laplace transform so it's an important topic and uh, please stay with me to see if what happens with all these derivations and all. Thank you. It's finding, it's finding the Laplace transform of a very important factor, it rise to a t. Okay, so what is uh, finding out the Laplace transform? Laplace transform of the factor, e rise to a t u of t. So the question is. What is a Laplace transform? The given factor, the given factor e rise to a t is multiplied with e rise to minus s t and uh, integrated with respect to d t with respect to t. Okay, so we need to have limits of integration. In this case, the given factor is multiplied with a step function, and the step function commences from zero and extends up to infinity. So the limits of integration in this case will be zero to infinity. So why? Because the step function exists only for zero to infinity. And so the limits are in this case. So the next step is integral zero to infinity, taking out exponential as common, just uh, taking out uh, negative as common from minus as common from this term and this term, uh, the resultant would be negative has come out so we have s and take already negative has come out so this should be minus a into t d t the question is guys did we pick out this negative as common from both the terms randomly no we have a reason for that uh, i'll explain it later on after we come to the conclusion okay so and also in your previous grades you might have come across an important uh, relationship while you are uh, while you were taught uh, integrations integral e rise to a x dx would result in e rise to a x upon a okay uh, integration with respect to x this is uh, the coefficient of x is treated as a constant and that comes down if the integration would have been with respect to a x would have come down okay so this uh, important relationship you have come across in your previous grades and this once again repeats over here. Uh, this whole term is treated as a constant. Why? Because the integration is with respect to t. So what we have is integral, uh, no, need of integration, direct integration of this one. So what we have is integral e power ax similar to that one. So the result would be integrating this one, e rise to minus of uh, s minus a into t as it is. And this term comes down. Right, this is the uh, variable factor, and this is a constant, and this comes down minus of uh, s minus a comes down, and the 
limits of integration being 0 to infinity. So this is what it results. And plugging in the values of uh, lo lower limit and upper limit in T, what we have is, guys, negative of uh, S minus A as it is in the denominator. Plugging in the upper limit, E rise to minus of S minus A and uh, we have infinity upper limit in place of t it's infinity minus lower limit e rise to minus of s minus a into zero because of the lower limit okay and uh, you can clearly see we have uh, minus of s minus a which is in the denominator as it is guys this entire term will become infinity so this into infinity is infinity and it's a negative infinity e rise to minus infinity that leads to zero minus e rise to this entire term becomes zero e rise to zero that will be one okay now this is a finite value for that this is the reason we have uh, picked a uh, negative from both the terms okay because of the limits are uh, limit is to infinity so to make this a finite value we have picked a negative and that negative e rise to minus infinity resulted in zero and we have a finite value over here this is the reason we picked it negative over here and the continuation is uh, laplace transform of the function e right e rise to a t u of t is equal to this is one this negative and this negative gets cancelled we are left with one upon s minus a this is the final result of uh, the laplace transform of e power a t um, another important uh, point to be noted over here applying inverse Laplace transform both the sides uh, what I mean is inverse Laplace of uh, 1 upon s minus a and uh, this term as it is Laplace transform of uh, e rise to a t u of t and uh, inverse and inverse on this side also so this gets cancelled this can inverse and its uh, function gets cancelled we are left with uh, e rise to a t u of t which is equal to inverse laplace transform of 1 by s minus a so uh, important point to be rem uh, rem reminded over here laplace transform of a t will be Laplace transform of e rise to a t u of t will result in 1, one upon s minus a. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a would go back to this one. Okay. So these two are said to be a Laplace transform pair. Very important uh, relationship. 1 upon s minus a and e rise to a t u of t are Laplace transform pairs and uh, a very important relationship. Many, many applications of this one. This relationship. Okay. So. If you find this video useful, please subscribe my channel Ushendra's Engineering Tutorials. Please share my videos. Please like it. Thank you so much.